right, and here is this week's menu plan. Grilled chicken Caesar salad Monday, pork carnitas tacos Tuesday, pinto beans in the crock pot for Wednesday, fish sticks Thursday, Friday's out. I'm going to try to make some pulled pork at the camper Friday, and Tuscan chicken Saturday whenever we come home. And here's my grocery list. Butter, I need ivory soap. I need some bathroom cleaner, I'm out. Some Dawn dishwashing detergent. Eggs, bread, pink, garlic, and some muffins. The little mini muffins. My husband loves them for breakfast every morning. My granddaughter got him hooked on them. But other than that, I think I'm going to go to Aldi's today and see what they've got. And do a little bit of a Aldi's grocery haul also. Hey everybody, it's Susan. And we're heading to Aldi's today to get a little bit of a grocery haul. And whenever I can't get in Aldi's, I'm heading to Food Line 4. So let's see what kind of good deals I can get at Aldi's. And let's see what I need to get at Food Line. So let's go get our shopping on. And here's Aldi's. The first thing I'm gonna look at is some bread. We need some white bread for some sandwiches. And 99 cent, that's a really good price. And here's some black cherries. Danny loves black cherries and $2.99 for the bag is not a bad price either. They've got lots of fruit in store, but I'm jumping in here during my lunch hour, so I can't really get a whole lot of stuff. There's the mini muffins that I talked about, $2.99. That's not a bad price. And of course, I need some Dawn. I looked at the big one. I looked at the smaller one. $4.24 was the smaller one. Then I looked at the Radiance. The Radiance is the size of the smaller Dawn, but the price on the Radiance was $1.69. So guess which one I got? And here's minced garlic for $2.29. Not a bad price. Butter. Now here's what the butter price was at Aldi's, $3.95. Remember that because we're gonna go to Food Line. I got the Caesar salad kit for $4.29. Here's my pink lemonade. And it was $2.79 for a container. I got two of those. Here's my ivory soap. And it was $4.99. I got some bathroom cleaner. I got the cheapest one I could find, which was $4.79. And then eggs were $4.79 for an 18 count. And here's the butter. Remember how much the price was at Aldi's? Well, it's a little bit cheaper here at Food Line. And here's my grocery haul from Food Line for this week. I got a Caesar salad kit for tonight's chicken, grilled chicken and Caesar salad. I got two things of pink lemonade because we go through them pretty quick. 18 count of eggs. 10 bars of ivory soap. I got four sticks of butter and some bathroom cleaner, some Lysol bathroom cleaner. And all of that ended up being $29.36 at Food Line. And now here we go with the Aldi's, which I'd planned on buying everything at Aldi's, but started looking at prices, started couldn't finding things, and wound up not. I've got some Radiance instead of the Dome. I've got some mini muffins for Danny for breakfast. I've got some minced garlic that I need because I ran out. And I found some black cherries, which Danny loves. So I've got that for him. And this is $20.30 from Aldi's. So together for this week, we've got $49, well, yeah, $49.66. About what it was last week, $49.49, but it's $49.66. And I've got this week covered, plus a few cleaning items that we were running low on. And here's my layout for the week. As y'all know, I like to lay out all my stuff. Uh, today's actually Tuesday. I forgot to film Monday. Um, we did have the grilled chicken Caesar salad. Uh, today is tacos, pork carnitas tacos in the crock pot. Y'all have seen me do this before in my green chili chicken enchiladas whenever I did the Mexican feast. Uh, I've got that. If you want to watch that recipe, you'll be able to see how I do my pork carnitas. That's today. It's Tuesday. Wednesday, of course, is pinto beans. Y'all know I got the big jug of pinto beans, so I've got them out here ready to go in the crock pot for Wednesday. I'll do pinto beans and either cornbread or biscuits. Thursday is going to be salmon patties. Y'all have seen that before in my three weeknight meals. Salmon patties, mixed greens, and black-eyed peas. 
So we've got everything laid out and ready to roll for the week, but let me show you the pork carnita meat that I just put in the crock pot. And of course, those of y'all who know, know that I put it in the crock pot frozen. I basically defrosted enough to get it out of the pack, which is what it looks like. Adaptable, yep, it's pork carnitas. And then just put it in here frozen, turn it on low, let it cook all day long. Don't add any water, because if it's frozen, this will make enough juice that you won't need any water. It's already got all the seasonings on it, so it's a dump and go. So we've got this ready to roll. I'm gonna put the lid on, and then whenever I come back from work today, I'll take it out and we'll make some tacos. Okay, and I've pulled all that pork. Did you see how it absorbed all the juice that was in that pot? It didn't dry by no means now, but it needed that juice that was in the bottom to get it nice and juicy. But, look at that. Let's get the pork carnitas tacos going on. There's some. Now, if you look back at my green chili chicken enchilada video, you will see exactly like this, where I made the pork carnitas tacos during the Mexican feast while we were down at the beach. It's very simple, very easy. All you do is put the meat in the crock pot, still frozen, let it cook all day, and then you come back from work, you shred it up like I just did, and then you put it in the taco shells and put whatever toppings you want on it. Your accoutrement. Ortega taco sauce, the normal thing for Taco Tuesday. And y'all know by now, this green thing is Danny's Tacos. A little bit of the jalapeno sauce right here. And Cholula. I'm going to put some sour cream, which I need to put that on my board. Okay. And some Mexican cheese. Pork carnitas tacos. There was for supper tonight on Taco Tuesday. About forgot to do a picture for Wednesday. Here's pinto beans, biscuits, pickled okra, and some onions. And we're having some mixed greens and some black eyed peas to go with the salmon patties. And of course for the mixed greens, I love putting me some Lowry's in it. Makes it taste so much better. And I put a good little helping. And then I put a little bit in the black eyed peas just a little bit. And then I usually add a little bit of salt and pepper in that too. All right. So all this is ready to roll. I just got to get the salmon patties I'm making. And look at those salmon patties are going. So good, they're gonna be on the plate here in just a minute. Thursday night supper, salmon patties, black eyed peas, mixed greens, and very inexpensive. All these meals have been. I hope you've enjoyed this week's meals. All of them were inexpensive and meals you can make on a budget. Please let me know if you've enjoyed this video and I will make more of my weekly menu videos. Until next time, have a great week. Please like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.